All right, uh, we're going to continue on this. This is day seven. Um, we're going to go ahead and hook this this line back up here. Um, we'll hook the um, clamps and stuff on this side too. There's some lines on the back side here we'll hook up on both sides, so don't forget those. There's some clamps here that have to be hooked up to this framework. So we're going to hook all these lines up here, the um, cables here. Those all need to be hooked up in here so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then uh, we're gonna hook um, these lines back up there with the air box so we've got a, a plenty of stuff to do here um, I'll show you as we go on all right so we've got all our lines hooked up here now all across um, don't forget your bracket underneath here for the, these lines here we've got our side bracket on in there um, so we've got our hoses kind of routed here reattached um, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to put the air box in there and these attach the air box and then the uh, coolant tank which uh, there should be a line here that has to go on there yet uh, so we're going to go ahead and put the air box in there uh, we've also reinstalled the side panel back on here so that's reinstalled so we're going to go ahead and do that all right so we've got our air box we've sitting here we just uh, we just install it like i said um uh, try to get your boot fitted in here just kind of guide that in there you might have to stick your arm in there to move around this boot uh, we've got these lines here in the clamps we've installed those already so now we're going to go ahead and install the hardware along the back here and then in the corners here right there Another one right there. So we're going to go ahead and install those right now. And then once that gets installed, we're going to go ahead and put our tank, coolant tank back on, get our lines installed, and then put our air boxes on. All right, so we've got our lines hooked up to our coolant tank in the back there. Uh, don't forget to hook your bottom one up and secure the clamp. Uh, make sure you, when you got your clamp here configured, it's not rubbing against the tank because you don't want to wear a hole in it. And it doesn't rub a hole in the air box. So you may have to reposition it to where it clears all that. So we've got that all on there. We're going to go ahead and now set this down on here. And then secure it down with the uh, number 10 nuts here. We've got new air filters installed now. So that's the covers are ready to go on. Um, I've just put this cap on for the coolant tank. We've got that line disconnected yet. Uh, when we have that connected, we'll go ahead and uh, do a pressure check of the system here. Uh, we'll show you that, and then we'll service it. So um, for right now, we're gonna go ahead and continue on and install on these covers here. All right, so we've got the rest of the air box on, the upper part of the plenum here. New air filters, so those are all done. Um, so I, I believe we're all done in this area for right now. Like I said, we'll do the, uh, check on the coolant system here in a little bit. So other than that, I'm going to go ahead and continue on the inside and start putting the covers on the belts and everything. All right. The other day, uh, we did the, uh, Tommy belt installation video. So today we're back on this. We're going to go ahead and put the Tommy belt covers on. And then once the covers get on, We'll go ahead and put the other accessory belts on and then we'll put the uh, water tube on and then we can put coolant in it check the uh, coolant tank in that make sure there's no leaks and everything but uh, we're going to go ahead and install these timing belt covers right now all right so we've got our covers on now on uh, both sides um, don't forget to reattach your idler pulley here um, we'll mess with that when we install the other belts on uh, we're just letting it sit here for right now. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and install the uh, power steering because it sits back the furthest behind this other pulley. So we're going to go ahead and do the power steering next and then uh, the alternator and the AC compressor after that. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to put the, uh, we've got the belt on for the hydraulic steering pump. So uh, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to strike the belt with the screwdriver near the detector and check the value with your frequency basically with your 
application here, which is Easy Tension, is what we're using. So uh, you're going to take the Easy Tension app and use it at its longest point. And then uh, we are looking for 275 to 267 hertz. Okay, 267 to 275 hertz on the hydraulic steering pump. And then uh, your AC compressor is 164 to 156, 116 to 124 for the uh, generator water pump. Okay, so those are your frequencies we'll be looking for. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and, and strike that belt and see what kind of frequency we have. All right. So we've got our uh, belt tensioned up. This bolt here is the opposite of what you think. So loosening like uh, counterclockwise tightens the belt. So uh, when you're doing this, you may want to bring the tension slightly less than what you're looking for. The 267 to 275. Because when you go ahead and tighten these bolts here, this one here, and the one above, it'll actually increase the tension. So uh, it'll shoot you over if you're, you get your tension that you're looking for. And then you tighten those two, you'll be over-tensioned. So uh, I would go a little bit under, and then tighten it up, and then check it for 267 to 275. Uh, we've got that right here, so we're done with that. We're going to go ahead and put the other belts on now. Actually, before I can put these other belts on, i got to put the crank pulley back on. So I'm going to take the crank bolt out, lock the... Uh, transmission the transaxle back there lock the flywheel and then uh, we'll torque the flywheel to the proper spec and then put our belts on so uh, we're going to go ahead and lift the car put the flywheel on and then we'll put the belts on so we've got our uh, crank pulley back on we got the bolt in right there um we've got it slid on like i said we're gonna have to lock in the clutch assembly here the flywheel so we can get at the proper torque. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the tool in again. Here's the tool. Uh, it's an AV3207. You can get this from Hill Engineering. Um, but anyway, this is the tool. I gotta install it and then we can crank, uh, torque the crank bolt, all right? So we've got our tool in there now to hold the, uh, flywheel in place so it holds the crank so we're over here uh, we're gonna get that torqued up so they're looking for tightening the uh, crankshaft pulley right here is 196 newton meters or 144 foot pounds okay so that's what you're looking for all right 196 Newton meters or 144 foot pounds. All right, I want to show you something here. Um, it actually has a footnote here. Tiny the crankshaft pulley, and then it has a number two here in quotes. So if you go to number two on the second page, it says application of air. I, I'm not saying it right. Air Exxon system 52A42. All right which I've kind of looked at equivalent um, here, which is Loctite 242. This is Loctite 242. I know you can't see it, but uh, we're going to go ahead and use that on the threads on the crankshaft bolt. All right, so I've got that thread locker on there. Uh, don't use too much. I, I drew a line with it, but now it's kind of flowing out. Believe me, when you put that thread locker in there and the threads, it'll go everywhere. So, um, like I said, don't go too crazy with it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in and then torque it to 144 foot-pounds. All right? All right, so we've got our crank bolt torqued. We've taken our tool off now. We can actually put this screen back on, tighten it back up, because we're done, done in here. Uh, we don't need to get back in here at all. So we're going to go ahead and put that on next. Got our screen back on here over our flywheel. So we're going to go over here now. And we'll put this box back in. We moved the other day. Uh, that can be reinstalled. Uh, then we can probably reinstall these lines now. I'll have to put the other line that, that goes up.
to the top of the motor has to go in yet. So we're going to go ahead and put that box in. Alright, so we've got our coolant lines all hooked up. There's four clamps. One, two, three, four. Make sure they're all nice and tight. Uh, we've got our bracket on here for our coolant line. Um, the box is installed. Uh, bolt over here also. Those are tens. Tens over here. So uh, we're ready to lower this down to continue to put the belts back on. And we got to hook the upper portion of this line here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. We're done. Like I said, we're done down here and we're going to lower the car. All right. So we're back here inside the car. Uh, we've got our coolant line hose clamp uh, reinstalled, tightened up. So um, now since we've got the uh, crank pulley back on there, we can go ahead and start putting on our other belts. We can put on our alternator belt and the uh, AC compressor belt. So uh, we're going to continue on. All right, so I've got all the belts on now. And um, I've got the uh, power steering one up to tension, but I've got to do the alternator and the AC compressor yet. So we'll go ahead and do that next. Get those tension up to the proper tensions, and then we'll be done with the belts. All right, so we've uh, installed the uh, power steering pump belt, the AC compressor belt, and the alternator water pump belt. We've got those all torqued up. Uh, frequencies, I'll show you the frequencies on those. All the frequencies are in. Uh, adjusted this pulley here. I usually put like a credit card thickness through there. Uh, I'll run this up to there and then I'll torque it down. You don't want this to ride on the belt, but just like I said, a credit card thickness off the belt so the belt doesn't slap, but you don't want it riding against it all the time. Uh, same with, same thing with the upper one. I'll have to adjust it yet. Uh, so, on these torques here, I'll show you what our frequencies. I'll show you uh, what they are. Uh, don't forget to tighten your number 12 uh, nut here or bolt on your idler on both of these. That's what locks it in. So don't forget to do that. So over here, what you're looking for, the generator water pump is 116 to 124. And your AC compressor is 156 to 164. Now you'll do this on the longest run. All right. And like you said, we don't want those idler pulleys resting against the, against the belt either. So uh, pull those away. Strum your uh, belt with your... Uh, are you actually supposed to tap it with a screwdriver? I just use my finger and strum it like a guitar string. Either way, um, to get your frequencies... Like I said, you may want to go under your frequency because when you tighten that 12 millimeter bolt, it'll actually raise them a little bit. So you'll overshoot it sometimes. So just go a hair below it. And hopefully when you tighten that 12 millimeter on the idler pulleys, it'll bring it within the range. So um, all, I got, all I got left is I got to lower the car and then uh, adjust my idler uh, bearing on the uh, upper... Uh, what would be the uh, AC compressor, I believe. All right, so I've got here all my belts installed. Like I said, I was going to um, adjust this idler bearing here, uh, which is on the alternator belt. Um, the other one was on the AC compressor. So um, I've got, like I said, a little bit of a gap there about this credit card uh, width here. Locked it in. Like I said, it shouldn't be rubbing against there, but enough to where it doesn't slap. That's what that's that's what that's for. So the belt, if it starts like getting this harmonic frequency in it and it starts slapping, that's supposed to prevent that. Okay. So uh, other than that, looks like we're all back together here. So uh, at this point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this panel and then all these floor panels in here and uh, get that going. Hopefully, we don't need to get back in here. Um, so that's what we're doing. Also, I want to make note, um, before you put your timing belt covers back on, uh, one thing is be sure to pull those pins on those, uh, adjusters. So you don't want those in there. All right. I've seen people leave those in there. 
you do not leave the pin in, in the adjuster. So make sure you remove those, all right, because that's supposed to float in there, all right? Uh, other than that, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put this panel on. All right, we've got our panel. I forgot to show you the panel install. Uh, we've got the rear carpet installed now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the netting back on. It's down here. And the seat belt, uh, I think it's a, uh, for a child seat. We'll put that on. And then this panel here, this just pushes on. So we're going to go ahead and install that. And then these bottom panels next. So we've got the back wall back together. We've got the screen on. We've got this uh, child seat harness. We've got the attach points here for the top removable sunroof. Um, got the lower panels installed on both sides. So uh, now we're going to be ready to install the seats back in the car. And then uh, after that, we'll have to finish uh, with the engine stuff that we have left. So... Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and install the seats right now.